Did you know that the falcon is the national bird of UAE, a bird that is known for its grace, speed, and agility, soaring so high in the air that no bird can ever reach. Taking inspiration from its national bird, Dubai's growth has been such that no city can ever match up to. This city is so liberal in its environment that you can see both the urban and the rural areas merging together to make Dubai a unique city to explore. Hence, on this episode of Your One Day Itinerary, we will see Dubai through the eyes of this falcon, exploring both parts of Dubai. In the last video of One Day Itinerary, we went to a limo, uh, Dubai Mall, we went to Dubai Aquarium, Burj Khalifa, we went to Ski Dubai and we went to Dao We did a lot of things last time. But in today's itinerary, we are going to take it very very easy. We are going to do only three things. This itinerary is for kids, for the young ones and for the adults. Everyone in combination and everyone is going to have a lot of fun. So when you're traveling, it's very important to always be on time because your itinerary is very much packed. But in today's itinerary, we have by default started the activities late so that if you have a late flight or you had a late night and it's going to be difficult for you to wake up for some odd reason, this itinerary is specifically for you because uh, today's itinerary is going to start off late. Hoping that you finished your breakfast at 10 a.m. in the morning. I love these cars, man. It's so comfortable. This car is a bigger one. Wherein uh, more than like a group of family can sit comfortably. It's recommended to take you know pre-booked cars while you're traveling in Dubai. It really makes the whole journey comfortable and convenient and more fun if you're having a good large group. Our first thing in the itinerary will start at 11 a.m. at Dubai Frame. So once you enter Dubai Frame, you will be firstly mesmerized with the color gold because the entire frame is built uh, from. I don't know if it's 24 karat gold or what, I don't think so. No, it's not. I thought it was gold or something. Once you enter, the first thing that they show is how Dubai was in the yester years. You'll see how the development took place. For five minutes, I was wondering why I cannot see anything. And then I realized. Then you'll take a lift, go up on the top floor and you have the entire horizontal view of entire Dubai. So high up, I can see my hotel, it's there. I can see my hotel, it's there. Wow. From one side you can see old Dubai and from the other side you'll see the new, much advanced Dubai with the view of Burj Khalifa. Okay, I found out something really cool. And if I type, if I fingerprint or write something with my finger over here, you can see it over here. Oh, that's a deal, that's a deal, that's a deal. And once you come down, again you will witness what the future holds in Dubai. There's a nice light show that once you come down, you can witness and see what all new advancements are going to come in Dubai. That's why I said the best thing about traveling in Dubai if you have your own vehicle, a vehicle, I mean rented vehicle, it is always at your doorstep. Next up, we go to the next spot in our itinerary. So after this comfortable ride, we've finally reached Al Sif, and in Al Sif, we finally reached our next, next, uh, next destination. That is Museum of Three Usions. Here is your job. Name the colors of the following words. Do not read the word. 
rather say the color of the word. So I cannot read the word. Can't read yellow. You should read green. I'm going to try my best. Full speed, okay? Let's go. Green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black. Green, blue, black, blue, red, and yellow. Ah, green. Wow, it was. Oh my God, it's so hot. Oh Lord, 40 degrees. Okay, so after spending a bomb at Starbucks in the name of lunch, we are now going for desert safari. We are now going from Al Sif to Al Awir. Al Sif is where museum pollution is, and Al Awir is where the desert camp is. The entire idea to do this journey is because while you are moving in a desert camp pickup car, you will actually see and notice and uh, you know experience how. The city transforms from a concrete jungle to a complete desert. Checking tires here okay. to enter the desert. Uh -huh. Okay, because the normally tire pressure is 35. When we enter the desert, the tire pressure is like a 15. Okay. Seat belts on. Seat belt time. Not eat anything, otherwise you'll want to vomit. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do now in the desert camp is travel right. Okay. So when you enter, the first thing that you're greeted with is Arabic coffee and Arabic dates. Mashallah. Suddenly, when you eat all this, you start speaking Arabic like Mashallah. important part of the entire trip is when you come over here you should dress up like the Arabs do. It's time to dress up. Oh, the Dubai feeling. Mashallah, yalla, habibi, wala wala. Now I feel the Dubai life, the Dubai spirit in me. Now it's time to do some amazing desert safari and desert, desert camping stuff. So let's go. We are in the middle of the desert. There is so much calmness and peace and there is there is some sort of serenity uh, as we are at the heart of the desert. There are a lot of people over here but there is so much silence because I feel everyone is engulfed with the peace that is there around all of us right now and it's such a nice feeling to watch the sunset which is right behind me and enjoy the calm of this desert. Uh, as the sun now sets, it's time for some more entertainment and music for the evening and amazing food at the desert camp. So once you're in the desert camp, the best part is there is lots and lots of varieties of food from veg to non-veg to from pasta to Indian, everything is there. You will have a ball eating food but remember, do not eat a lot and destroy your appetite because you're in Dubai and there's a lot of traveling, okay? So eat very very little, not a lot, okay? What? Okay. No, this is little only, this is little only, don't worry. So your Dubai trip is incomplete if you do not try the famous baklava. It's a desert, so it's yummy, it's best, so you can have a lot of it. In words said by His Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and I quote, Dubai with all its glitz and glamour rose in the heart of the desert. This shows how real opportunity and strong governance can make any country an exporter of hope and a magnet for talent. We have now explored so many places in Dubai, but this is not even 10% of what this city can offer. There is still so much more to explore from the city. With more such amazing places, thank you so much for watching from Dubai. Oh, wow, Rubik's Cube, huh?